Let's talk about modes a little bit. TCP and HTTP modes, right? So HA proxy is one of those fewer proxy that actually supports layer four and layer seven proxying. What the heck does that mean? It means that when, when you play at the TCP layer, you have very few things to work with. You have the IP address, you can see the IP address, and you can see the port, and that's it. You cannot see anything else. You can see the IP address you're coming from, you can see the IP address you're going to, and that's pretty much it. You cannot see the content, you cannot trust looking at the packets because they do not make any sense at that layer, okay? Layer four, right? There, You cannot see, you cannot do rerouting, you cannot do header rewrites, any of that stuff, right? And there's a benefits of doing that, there's, uh, cons of doing that as well so that's the word the layer seven layer four tcp proxy right layer seven which is the http proxy works at the layer seven that means it can actually whoa it can look at the data it can see oh you're going to actually slash search slash this right or search slash app one slash app two you're going to that thing oh i can read this stuff right so you can do some very clever maneuvering especially with microservices layer 7 proxy is almost a must right but here's the bad thing about layer 7 proxy right layer 7 has to look at the data to look at the data if you're using tls you gotta decrypt that thing okay and if you're decrypting that means you're terminating the tls that means your proxy is looking through your data maybe you're okay with that but you just just so you know the ha proxy layer nginx pretty much caddy, I think, all of those stuff look through your data, okay? So if you don't, if you don't trust your proxy for some reason and you only, you have a backend that is secure, okay? And that has a certificate and you just want the proxy to actually do a low load balancing and round robin, right? And you don't want it to look, you don't want it to reroute, do not any of that stuff. Use a layer four proxy because it will do a SSL pass through. And I'm gonna talk about that, right? It will not terminate the TLS, right? So you can play with TCP and HTTP. I'm gonna talk about that in examples. Access control list. Conditionals that applies to the to reroute the traffic. Hey, if you're going to this endpoint, I want you, for example, to block that. Right? If someone going to admin through HA proxy, they are not allowed to go to this endpoint. I just wanna block them. Admin access has to go through the server directly, for example. Meh. Just want to make my own rules. You can start pulling all these beautiful rules, guys. If if you're going to app one slash app one, go to this backend. If you're going to this uh, to app two, go to this backend, to these servers, right? And you can do so much clever stuff. ACL can also be applied at the uh, not just uh, as a as a HTTP mode, which is layer seven. You can apply it to the layer four mode. You might say, Hussein, if I'm a layer four, I don't see any data. Why is this useful? Well, you can do some basic stuff. It's like, hey, I can look at the IP at least. That's useful. People coming from Asia, I want them to go to this backend, which is all servers going in the Asia, right? It's old Asian. I don't know, in Singapore somewhere, right? And if someone coming from America, I want the back end to go through, I don't know, these servers that are in, in North Virginia, okay? And so on. So it's really cool.